Global warming is an emotional issue. And remember, the future is not about science, it's about emotion. I don't mind what your view is about the science. Uh, it's, it's irrelevant. Uh, you, can have, you, could, you could say, looking at this graph of, of uh, ice core, this is a graph of carbon dioxide in the ice caps, and we drill down these cores, you know, we cut and slice these layers of ice. In it, we find bubbles of carbon dioxide uh, 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 dissolved uh, 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 as part of the air the, in, the, in those air bubbles, so we can measure the carbon dioxide concentrations going back, and we can read them just like rings of a tree. We can go back 500,000 years, a million years, actually, um, and we can do the same for temperature because... Uh, when the temperature is warm, you get different variations in the levels of particular versions of the hydrogen atom, which are contained in water and in ice. And by comparing these different versions of the hydrogen atom, we can make an estimate of what the Earth temperature was when that ice was formed. And we can compare that with carbon dioxide, and we get this nice double track. Um, and the question is, where is it going? And, and no one knows the answer to that. There's no one on the face of the Earth that knows, but there are a lot of people trying to guess. Um, all we do know is this. We are at this point at the moment, up there. When we were last this low down, there was a whole mile of ice over my home in London. Hello? That's a whole mile of ice over my house in London. And we are here right now. And it's just jumped very fast. And there's not a scientist in the face of this world that has the faintest clue what that actually means or where we will actually stabilize CO2 levels before they start to fall again. All you can be sure about is that it's significant. And I can't prove to you what proportion of that rise is human. And actually, that may not be the real issue. Now, remember, I'm not interested in the science here today from one point of view. The science is incredibly important in determining what our future will be in 20, 30, 40, 50 years' time. But if you're going to ask me, Patrick, what is the future of buildings controls in the next three years, I would say forget the science for the moment and remember that the future is about emotion. Thank you. So the big question is, what do you think will be the future emotion attached to that graph? Put your hands up if you think the world will become more emotional about this graph over the next two years than it has been in the past. Put your hands up if you think that within the next 10 years we could see an emotional intensity attached to this issue of global warming over 50 times greater than it is today worldwide. Well, you've told me the future and I agree with you. So let's stop thinking about the science for a moment. Important note is, and let's start thinking about the emotional intensity that's going to drive decisions by your clients, by the consumers who use those buildings, by the shareholders who own those buildings, and so on, over the next three to five years. And remember the speed at which this is happening, the emotional switch, is breathtaking. Uh, you think about how many heads of state were talking about global warming um, three years ago. Try and name me one that hasn't made a speech about global warming in the last six months. And as you've seen the same switch in terms of priority, things like Kyoto, here in Australia too. It's happening very fast. 